Welcome to Phonetics Lesson 3. In this video, we will cover places of articulation. Sounds of the world's languages vary not only according to the manner of articulation, as we saw in the last video, but also to the place of articulation. Again, follow along the top row of the IPA chart to get used to the symbols. The first place of articulation is bilabial. These are sounds made with both lips, such as the bilabial plosives p and b and the bilabial nasal M, M. Mm. Other bilabial sounds include the voiceless bilabial fricative found in Japanese and the bilabial trill found in Orowin, spoken in Brazil. Here are some examples. Labiodental sounds are made with the lower lip and the upper teeth. Korean lacks labiodental sounds, but English has a voiceless labiodental fricative f and a voiced labiodental fricative v, as in the words feel and veal. The Niger Congo language Eve, spoken in Ghana and Togo, contrasts bilabial fricatives with labiodental fricatives. Listen to the following examples. <laughs> Dental sounds are made with the teeth. The English sounds f and v, as in the words thin and they, are voiceless and voice dental fricatives, respectively. The term interdental is often used to specify these sounds since the tip of the tongue is well between the teeth. Korean has a dental stop as in the word topta. As you can see on the IPA chart, dental sounds are often indicated with a small diacritic underneath the symbol. Alveolar sounds are made with the tongue touching or approaching the alveolar ridge, the upper gums. English has numerous alveolar sounds including t, d, s, z, n, l, and er. Welsh, a Celtic language spoken in Wales, has a voiceless alveolar lateral fricative. Shaith. Shaith. Postalveolar sounds are made just behind the alveolar ridge. English has the following postalveolar sounds. Sh, zh, ch, j, as in shoe, beige, chin, and gin. Note that English contrasts s, s, and ash, sh, as in the words c and she. Korean has three postalveolar affricates, lenis, aspirated, and fortis, as in cho, cho, and cho. Alveopalatal sounds combine two points of articulation. The tongue comes into contact with the alveolar ridge and the hard palate. These sounds are found in the Other Symbols section of the IPA chart. Neither English nor Korean has alveolopalatal sounds, but they are found in Mandarin. Consider the following examples. Jia, qi, xiao. Next, the retroflex is formed by bringing the tip of the tongue into contact with or close to the hard palate, the roof of the mouth. Again, neither English nor Korean has retroflex sounds, but they are found in a number of languages. Here are some more examples from Mandarin. Chuan, shu, ren. Here are some more examples from Javanese, an Austronesian language spoken in Indonesia. Tamu, tite. Next, we discuss palatal sounds. These are made with the body of the tongue against the hard palate. Both Korean and English have the palatal glide y, as in yes, and yang a. German has a voiceless palatal fricative, as in the word ich, meaning I. Velar sounds are made with the body of the tongue approaching or coming into contact with the vellum, the soft palate. Both English and Korean have velar stops, as in the word king, get, and kom. The velar nasal ng is only found at the ends of syllables in English and in Korean, but can appear at the beginning of syllables as in Cantonese, as in ngo. Korean has a velar glide, which appears only in the diphthong ui. 
We will discuss diphthongs in more detail later. Next are glottal sounds, which are made with the glottis or vocal folds. This includes the glottal stop and the glottal fricative. Glottal stops are not a productive part of English and are generally absent in Korean. In English, you can hear it in the word uh-oh. The voiceless glottal fricative is found in English in the word hello, and in Korean in the word hada. Uvular sounds are produced with the uvula. Neither English nor Korean has uvular sounds, but they are found in a number of languages around the world. Standard French has a uvular trill, although in casual speech, most speakers use a uvular fricative. Here are some examples of uvular sounds in Quechua, an indigenous language spoken in Peru and Bolivia. Kuyui. Galu. Kuyui. Kalu. Kuyui. Kalu. Finally, pharyngeal sounds are produced in the pharynx. Here are some examples of pharyngeal sounds in Hebrew, an Afroasiatic language. Mahar. Nahar. Naar. Nahar. Sha'on. Now that we've covered the basic descriptions of the consonants in the world's languages, let's wrap up by going over how to state phonetic descriptions. Sounds are described in the following order. The source of air, usually not stated if pulmonic aggressive. The direction of airflow, again, usually not stated if a pulmonic aggressive. Voicing, only indicated for segments that usually contrast for voicing. Place and manner. For example, P is a pulmonic aggressive voiceless bilabial plosive. However, we can simply say that P is a voiceless bilabial plosive. Z, Z is a pulmonic aggressive voiced alveolar fricative. Again, however, we can simply say that it's a voiced alveolar fricative.